Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hi everybody, it's me, Zach. Hi, hello, how are you doing? We are back, back, back again for another Amberlynn Reed reaction video. She posted a vlog today after, you know, the, she, here's my thing. <laughs> Let me, let me just be clear. Here's my thing. Amberlynn is always welcome to post whatever she wants, whatever she doesn't want to, whoever, whatever. Uh, I certainly am somebody who's taken breaks. I'm certainly somebody who has even said I was going to do something and then didn't. Um, I, what is so confusing to me, <laughs> what is so confusing to me is Amberlynn promised, said time and time again, hey, you know, I don't know what's to come from my schedule. Very honest, very open communication there. Doesn't know what she's going to do with her schedule. And said, however, I will still for sure be posting a what I eat today on Friday. And then Friday came, Friday went, there was no what I eat today, no post from Amberlynn describing, explaining what happened, just leaving folks, <laughs> leaving folks high and dry, uh, not sure what happened, where she went, what's going on, if she's okay, whoever, whatever. And I think that's generally always been my point about Amberlynn not being able to commit. Well, I've always had several points, okay? We know that Amberlynn's schedule is very flexible and she's not doing a ton of stuff, okay? She posted two times last week. Two. All of two times. And, you know, she, she's, she's got time on her hands. So I think, I think there is like a little bit of an obvious like, girl, what are you doing with your life that you can't just film what you eat in a day for one day and post it like you said you were going to? But, you know, things come up, whoever, whatever. I just would be like, hey, something came up. Here's what happened. Like, that's the part that's really missing here is like the communication, you know? Anytime that I cancel a live stream on Twitch or something like that. I usually try to be like, hey, I know I told you all I'd be here at this time. XYZ thing came up. Thanks for your patience and understanding. Overall, it's not the end of the world. She seems to be okay. She's here posting. It is what it is. Now, the title of today's video is called What My Valentine Got Me For Valentine's Day and Why Don't People Want To Be In My Vlogs? Bar vlog. And I think it might be helpful to also note that she, uh, what day was this? On Thursday, or at least Thursday was, yeah, Thursday was when I took the screenshots. My screenshots, the, the Instagram questions were about two hours old. She answered a few Q and A's on her Instagram. I don't know if she answered more than what I have here. I typically usually just screenshot the things that I find interesting. So I thought I could share a little bit of those before we get into this video today. The first one is very interesting considering the title of her video is what my Valentine got for me. Um, but the first question was, are you still single? And she said, technically, yes. The second one that I saved was, what do you think of obese to beast videos offering to help you? And she said, I'd love his help. I know last time didn't go so well, but that was years ago. I'm a different person now with a clearer and more eager mind. I'm not entirely convinced, at least in this aspect of her life, that she is a different person that has a clearer mind. I think she's always eager to try something. Let's also just be clear about that. Uh, she's always ready to try something new, but she's she's never all that different when it comes to trying to implement the new thing. So I don't know that obese to beast experience with helping with her now would be all that different from the, the last time that he attempted to help her. Another one that she answered was, how do you feel about your current upload schedule? Which this is relevant to literally what I just talked about. And she said, I don't really have one. I'm kind of lost when it comes to what I want to do on my channel. Which, let me be clear, I think, you know, creatively, people can get in a rut. She's been doing this for a long time. I think it's normal for you to have a little bit of question about what you want to do, so I'm not faulting her for that. Uh, but it is very clear that we we have no idea what she wants to do with her channel right now. And then the last one that I have says, and this goes back to the title of today's video as well, is how many people are you talking to, parentheses, romantically, and parentheses, right now, Kiss kissy lips emoji, two heart emoji, and she said, just one. 
exactly how I like it. <laughs> Listen, if, if there's a new girlfriend era on its way, like, let's fucking get to get to. I'm here for it. But I also have to remind myself that at the beginning of every relationship, she's very corny. <laughs> she, she's very corny, very overly sweet, and, and that's just not my way to approach romance. So here we are. <laughs> here we are. Should we just get to get to to this video? Let's get to get to. Hey guys. Welcome Hi. Welcome to video. So you guys did see me wear this for my weigh-in. Today is Wednesday. This is, wait, this is footage all the way from fucking last Wednesday. All the way from fucking last Wednesday, you couldn't check in on Friday to tell us why you didn't post what I eat today. Oh my God. Okay, and then on top of that, this is footage all the way from last Wednesday, but it's only 13 minutes. How many days are we gonna cover in this vlog? You know, that's my question. Monday night. And I just rested. Oh, she kind of quiet. Your girl was pooped. And now it's Wednesday. Pooped. I filmed Pooped. <laughs> Not poop. We can't talk about poop too much in this quarter of the internet. We gotta be careful talking about poop. We're gonna have Sala knocking at your door, bestie. Video. I've been productive. But, you guys, try to guess what is in this heavy box. I don't want to try to guess. Box. I don't care. I don't care what's in your heavy, huge box, bestie. What do you know about what's in your heavy, huge box? Oh my god. We're off to a great start today. Poop and now box humor. Okay. Think about it while I tell you the story time. So there is someone in my life that I would say is special. Um, in that Ooh, way. She is, she is feeling the, the, the nails. Did you hear her do that little, little bloop? I don't have nails like that, but loop, you know? So, so calm down. But I have been friends with this person since September, and we have become really good September. friends. Like the whole time, crushing on each other. But we asked each other to be each other's valentines, so that was like a cute thingy. So I'm gonna be referring to her as my valentine because I'm not gonna say her name, just out of respect. But she is one of my very best friends, but we, like, I was gonna say low-key like each other, but it's high-key at this point. So, I was on the phone. Wait, so I'm confused. Are y'all, are y'all... I don't need, I was gonna say are y'all fucking, but, <laughs> but obviously not if, if they're not like in-person friends. But are they fuck, like, are they metaphorically fucking? Walter, and we were just talking about my Legos, and I mentioned a Lego just like, you know, randomly a Lego that I'm interested in. Uh -huh. We literally just talk about everything. And Legos is a very popular topic because I'm obsessed. I mentioned, <laughs> yeah, there's like this Lego. It's like... Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense that that would be a hobby you would talk about on the phone to your to your pals, to your, your maybe, maybe not F buddy. <laughs> like... Like, oh, uh, how romantic. Hundreds of dollars though, so I'm not gonna like get it anytime soon, but it's definitely gonna be the next one that I get for myself that's like a bigger purchase. And we just like went on to the next conversation and I think like an hour after we got off the phone and she messaged me and she was like, I have a question. And I was like, oh my God. Usually when someone just comes out like that and they're just like, I have a question or like, I have to talk to you. Like I immediately get anxiety. I'm just like, oh my God, what is it? Uh -huh. She literally said, let me get you that Lego you want. And I was like, girl. So like after saying no, after doing the whole like, oh my God, but it's so expensive. I finally gave in and she got me. <laughs> this is this is the way to Amber Lynn's fucking heart. Remember when wifey, Feline, whoever, whatever we want to call her, got her that big ass Titanic Lego just for her to like toss it aside a month later after she finished building it. That's the way to get to old Amber Lynn's heart. Get to old Finger Lynn's fingers, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I just can't even believe it. For Valentine's Day, she got me this Lego that I Wow. Bought. I just can't. So like, romantic. How sweet is that? But another small box came with that. We we got a we got a heavy huge box and a and a small box. Do y'all prefer a heavy huge box or a small box? <laughs> Let me know down below. Open it 
first. So I asked my Valentine, I was like, what do you want? Like, what do you want me to get you? Like, I feel so just like, I cannot believe it. Like, do I deserve this? Mm. She was like, no, if I think of something I want, I'll let you know. But I'm always do, just do like. Do you deserve it? That's probably a great question. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you need to do some self-reflection on that. Maybe in therapy. I need to get you something. Like, are you joking? Oh my joking? Gosh. This limited edition. I guess it's like a Valentine's Day. Oh, it's a little dog. It's so adorable. Or is that a fox? And it looks like this. Or is that a? Oh my god. Is that a red panda? You guys are gonna LOL, but the reason why I'm wearing. I'm so gonna LOL. I'm absolutely gonna laugh out loud. This like a little Valentine's Day outfit is because I knew this was arriving today and I knew that actually today was gonna be the day that I was gonna ask her to be my Valentine. So it all just kind of like worked out perfectly and that's exactly what I wanted. Wow, I want you got me LOLing. That is so funny. I to have like a little girly pop outfit for that. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but okay. Are you guys ready to see the Lego? Oh my god, oh my I'm god. so ready. I can't believe this is real life right now. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. This is heavy. Heavy diesel. You are going to be very confused, but I love that. I'm just very quirky and confusing. So I am not like a Batman girly. Like you're not going to see me Ooh. watching the Batman movies uh -huh. every time. But. Ooh, but you know what? Nolan and I did just talk about going back and rewatching the the like Christopher Nolan Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight trilogy of the Batman. I loved Batman growing up. That was like my go-to superhero. I did not get into like the Robert Pattinson Batman. I didn't get into the, who was it? Was it Ben Affleck that also played Batman? I didn't get into all of that, but I did love the Dark Knight Rises trilogy or the Dark Knight trilogy. What do we call those ones? The Christopher Nolan trilogy. I did enjoy those girlies. There are some pretty awesome Batman Legos. Uh -huh. And the minute I saw the Batcave, I literally said, I Let's have fucking to have it. go! Isn't freaking stunning? What kind of. Wait, what characters come with it? If it's the Batcave, I'm guessing you get Batman, probably a little Alfred figurine. We, you get a little Robin figurine. Any villains? Who are your favorite Batman villains? Growing up, I mean, obviously, I always loved Catwoman, but because I'm gay, obviously, I also love Poison Ivy. And, yeah, I just love them all, though. I love, I love Batman so much. Like, it is the coolest looking thing ever, and I'm so excited to Let's go. build that and then, like, have it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but she's going to put it somewhere. Like, I am obsessed. <laughs> are you going to Are you gonna keep that one longer than the one you kept from Wifey? Probably at least until this girly pop at least makes an actual appearance at your home. I'm wondering how quickly we're going to move with the with the new Wifey, with the new... The new girly friend. How quickly are we gonna do that, Miss Ma'am? The back cable literally opens up as you can see here. Uh huh. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. And my Valentine, the person who got it for me, like literally, you know how grateful and appreciative I am and like shocked. Uh -huh. I'm just very thankful for the connection that we have right now. And, like, are you? Whatever is blessed. Can you really be that shocked though when she fully already asked you if she could get it for you? Like, how shocked can we be? You knew it was coming today to the extent that you put on this particular, like, top with the hearts on it. I mean, like, it just feels really good. I love you. Like, you're amazing. Well, you guys. Well? <gasps> oh, she happened. broke a nail. Yeah, I did. Dearly beloved, <laughs> we gather here to say our goodbyes. Here she lies, Amberlynn's thumbnail. <laughs> oh no, what will we ever do? It broke. That makes me very oh, sad. I imagine it is probably a little crazy. sad. Maybe I can like glue that piece Do it. on. Do it. Oh, please. Doubt it. Let's but. try. Oh, boy. Give me that yes. vlog. So I went to Five Below with my mom. So I wanted to show you the things I got. It's a little haul moment. Okay, don't come for me. I know this is weird. Even while at Five Below, I was like, mom, um, should I get this? But I feel like I would have regretted not getting it. All right. So I want to put these... 
on my couch. Oop, almost dropped her. So I want to put two of them on my couch. I... What in the, the COVID model? <laughs> like, like, why does that look like, like a virus? <laughs> why does that look like bacteria or something? Or is it supposed to be like a, a stuffed succulent? You know? You know succulents. It's just an aesthetic. It just looks... Actually, who is who is that guy from uh, The Simpsons, Sideshow Bob? It's kind of giving that. And I love it. So we're going to put it on my couch and see how it looks. But I also got two more clothes. Those are so hideous. So, so these are honestly so cute. I'm not sure how it's going to go with my couch. But the thing is, it's I not, know that I can make it's it It's not work. my design aesthetic is what I should say. If that's what works for you and your family, please don't take any offense to what I'm saying here today, okay? It's just, it's just not what works for me and mine. Tell me these aren't the cutest things you've ever seen. These oh my God. are not the cutest things I've ever seen. So I got two of them. They also had ones with cactuses on them, but these... These are where it's at. Like, I love the aesthetic of like this white color with like a pop of red with the cherries. I think it's so cute. And then <laughs> trying to trying to understand all Amberlynn's aesthetic. And what she likes is fascinating. It's fascinating. Because I would also say that's such a different aesthetic than whatever those stuffed succulent looking things were that she just pulled out of the bag. Dropping bags. And then another decor piece, which I thought was so cute, is this disco ball. I love the aesthetic of a disco ball. So I was like, okay, you're going to uh -huh. one. I don't also, know I'm gonna did she just learn aesthetic? Because also, like, depending on where you're putting all three of these things you just hauled, like, if they're all going together, that is not a cohesive aesthetic. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand or just like set it we'll see i got a new journal don't come for me i journal a lot folks okay um, perfect cherry 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 <laughs> cherry cherry oh, boom boom ga ga Ugh, I miss that era of Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga so much. You know what an era that I love of Lady Gaga, by the way, which also I'm, I'm wearing the shirt I got at the Jazz and Piano show. Uh, do you, the, 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 the era, the era, God, she said aesthetic so many times. That's, it's stuck in my head. The aesthetic of Lady Gaga's that I really love that I know is everybody's favorite was Joanne. And can I tell you how excited I am for act two of of the next era of Beyonce. I'm so excited because it's country, it's Joanne vibes, it's, oh, I'm so excited! I'm so freaking excited! I just thought it was so cute. Last but not least, not that I needed these, there's just like a mm. lot of different and weird types of candies at Five Below. Uh -huh. And I wasn't gonna get any, but I saw Boba Milk Tea Jelly Bellies. So I was like, I wanna try them. Realistically, this isn't gonna make me gain weight if I try a few. So let's not get mad at the jelly bellies. Um, we could do like a little. I'm not. I don't think. Mango I don't think anybody's mad at the jelly bellies. I really. I don't think that anybody blames the jelly bellies. I think it's just like. The, the thing that anybody could be bad about, which, like, also, I'm I'm gonna let you just eat whatever you want. I'm not your keeper. I can't make you do shit. <laughs> nor, nor am I trying to make you do anything. Um, but I think, I think what you're not realizing, like, the self-awareness piece that's missing here is nobody's mad at you having candy, necessarily. It's the fact that you say that things like this are bad for you or triggering for you. And then you always make excuses for why you purchased them or like how it's not gonna be bad for you or this, that, the other. I remember once upon a time back when we shut down or like started telling people to stop sending you stuff to the P.O. box, it's because somebody sent you candy and you said that you couldn't control yourself with the candy, you know? So it's just like, that's also, you know, as much as I defended you saying like, I could still have a P.O. box and keep it open, 
I just don't want y'all to send me food <laughs> as much as I defended you during that time. It's just like hard to also defend those times when you constantly get that stuff for yourself. That's, that's I think, the whole point that, that frustrates people when you purchase things like these is that you'll get mad at other people for sending it to you. You will talk about how it's triggering for you and yet you'll still get it for yourself, which, you know, whatever. Whatever. You get my point, though? You feel me? Milk tea. A taro milk tea. A matcha milk tea. Oh, love. Love, tea I love taro. Tea. They're all packaged individually. So, the first is one... Is she going to try them all? Hate it. <laughs> Let's do the matcha tea. I'm not a matcha girly. I'm not a matcha right? girly either. I feel you. That's actually not bad. Wow. Okay. Let's do taro. Wow. Also, it's that? taro. I'm not feeling that one. Ew. I love taro much so like much. The popcorn jelly belly, which I hate so much. Oh, I, okay, so I love the popcorn jelly belly too. I wouldn't anticipate a taro milk tea jelly belly tasting like popcorn. Uh, Cause that's not what taro tastes like, but, <laughs> but here we are. The next one is the mango milk tea. Mm-hmm. I knew she was gonna be good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's mm -hmm. do the Thai one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, that tastes like rotted milk. That's a no for me. Last but not least, strawberry milk tea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I knew I was gonna like her. That's why mm -hmm. she's the last. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys one of my new favorite meals that I've been getting lately. Okay, so I get it from a Mediterranean place. This is seasoned beef. Didn't, That's literally all it is. Didn't she already show us? Oh wait, I guess the last time she got a Mediterranean meal, it was chicken. It was chicken, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> I'm just like... <sighs> also, wait, you could do all this, but you couldn't film a what I eat a day and post it to your channel? I'm just, I'm just now, it's just now dawning on me. That was basically a kebab at one point. And then you get basmati rice, pita bread, and I like to get this I hummus. I love hummus. So it's a trio of hummus. Hummus is so hummus, good. A basil pesto hummus and just like an original. And I try to just order this by itself, the spicy one, because that's the one that I eat. I don't really eat these two at all. But the spicy one slaps and you get it with some pita <laughs> and it comes with a little extra pita. I, are we not going to finish that story? I love how she's like, I try to just get the spicy one, but they send all three. <laughs> it's very much like... I, I only I only wanted one bag of chips and, and an apple, and they sent me two bag of chips. <laughs> I like like if you only wanted the one, why'd you get the three? Why'd you get the three? I do give a lot of meat though. I usually only finish two of those. Okay. And as you guys know, I'm not really a tomato girly. So do I, I know that? that? Okay. Did so I'm I know that? Just chilling on my couch, but. There is like a hot topic that people are talking about. People are thinking that I lied about having friends come visit me because they weren't in my videos, their voices weren't. I, and that's because I highly respect people's privacy. I didn't, listen, here's the thing. Do I think people really came to visit you? Yes, actually, my 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 remaining theory is that it was Eric and Ricky, just, uh, just in case. You know, I went back and forth on that in the video where I reacted, but here we are, it, regardless. I think it's less that people think you're lying and more that like, why, why, why do we care? You know, <laughs> I mean, I can understand why people think you're lying because you haven't had anybody in your videos and for so long and for so long and you showed us so little, like you may as well have been by yourself. You may as well have been by yourself because like, what, what's the point of even showing us, you know? I don't know. That's my feelings. But I didn't think she was lying, necessarily. I I didn't, personally. I feel like I did present it kind of that way, because I, I did put quotation marks around friends in my title. But I think that's more to say, like, are these people her friends? Like, I don't know. Like, she, she claims she has all these friends, but they all live somewhere else. Like, she doesn't have any friends that are there in Oklahoma with her. I, I think it's more of like, what is our definition of friends, you know? But I felt like there were people visiting. And they didn't even want their voices in my video. I think Eric so and Ricky were, their voices that. were in so the video. So whenever I film something, 
it's because either they a weren't talking so we had a break in my filming because literally the whole time that we're here it, it was just a lot of this like so much laughter and uh -huh. just talking and just having a great time um and obviously i didn't film any of that because they just don't want to be in my videos and i have to understand that like in the past i have filmed a lot of people mm -hmm. and with some of like the community that follows me it makes it to where people don't want to be in my videos anymore it has nothing to do with me it has everything to do with like the way that a large group of people who watch my videos the way that they like treat people in my videos like it's just a lot of like doxing or just like really doxing <laughs> I I will forever love the way that she pronounces any word ending in I and G. Like that I don't think Amber Lynn could pronounce the the G in a word if if her life depended on it. If her life depended on it. Rude, rude things are said and rumors, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm just gonna like respect people. I, um people can think that I'm lying about having friends, people can think I'm lying about my weight, people can think I'm lying about whatever. I'm very much in an era where I just don't care anymore. <laughs> like, I have tried um, so hard to prove myself in the past. That's or, that's interesting, because you're like, I've tried so hard in the past, I'm just, I just am so unbothered and I don't care, and yet here you are addressing it. <laughs> here you are addressing it, as always, anyways. Um, I will say, this is, this is to the point that I was making about, like, her getting filmed, or filmed and or photographed when she didn't want to be is that's that's my point is like I do know that a long time ago she, well I don't know a long time ago might be subjective to different people but I do know that there was a history of time where she included people in her videos that didn't want to be filmed or didn't want to be there and the, the last time that anybody besides her appeared in her video was a very long time ago, you know? And, like, and for me, it's been at least since, like, before Wifey entered the picture. And so I do think she's very conscious these days about who is in her videos and what she records. Um, and so I, I think that that makes sense. I, I support her in that. As much as I would love a side character... As much as I think a side character would make her videos far more interesting, I you know, I understand why a lot of people surrounding Amberlynn, uh, you know, don't want to be involved in that. It is interesting that she tries to, like, separate herself from that, though, you know? Uh, a lot of the, the people that she used to include in that, in her videos, I think they all were also questionable people, and she was a questionable person with them. And she really passes the buck to just like, well, it's people in my audience that are awful and do awful things, which I think is probably partially true, right? Like, I think there are probably a lot of people that just want to fuck with her life and fuck with the lives of people around her. But it is interesting that she completely separates herself from any of that responsibility. Starting so many things, and it's like, sure, if there's like a rumor or a question or something that people are talking about, uh -huh. like... I will come on here, I'll talk about it, and then that's just going to be the end of it. Like, I'm not going to sit here and just, like, rant and rave and vent and try to prove myself to uh -huh. a bunch of people who just don't want to hear sure. what I have to say. I so feel that. their own storyline from my life. I feel just that. that. I've dealt with on YouTube for a while now, and it's just, like, I'm officially at, like... <laughs> A stage in my life where I just like don't care. I'm not. I'm not entirely convinced she doesn't care because she could have also just not um, answered this at all. And I, but I do think she's like 100 percent correctly that it's not worth your time to address every single thing on the internet. Uh, I feel like I've certainly experienced that even myself, and I, I think my audience is very different <laughs> than Amberlynn's, right? But, like, you know, there's some people that are just going to be very committed to not caring about your, like, the truth or, like, how you feel, and there's going to be people who are committed to, like, having created narratives of their own to <laughs> justify the way that they feel about you. And so, I you know, I don't know. I think it's interesting that she acts like she's unbothered because she very much is bringing things up all the time and because honestly I think that's like maybe one of the more interesting things about her channel is the like rumors and speculation surrounding it but yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know unbothered queen Amberlynn Reed like I'm unbothered literally unbothered like I said I'll mention something once or twice uh -huh. and that's the end of it like you sure. can enjoy whatever you sure. need to do to fill your time. Okay, you just have to sure. be a part of it.
Sure. We'll see. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> we'll, I just watched the new episode we'll see. of Jersey Shore. Super happy about that. I am behind on A Thousand Pound Sisters. I'm two episodes uh, behind. I catch up, girly. Episode. So it was like super freaking sad. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to go into that. If okay, you're going to do it. I'm about to put down my new pillows. But I just want to show you like, what my living room looks like. This is not how. That. This is just how she looks. Every this is not how I envisioned her, her living room being set up. Okay, here are just some um, graphic novels. It's like my favorite graphic novel series. It's also so, one of them. so boring. There's no character. Maybe she does need those those ugly little succulent pillows. It's Saga. So good. Over here is Twinkie's bed. She has that corner to herself. Um, so yeah, this is before. Okay. And guys, I oh. love the Papa Green. It does something for me, I but I can't figure out what to do with the disco ball. I don't know that that did anything for me. I don't know. That actually made it worse. <laughs> that actually made it worse for me. So I was going to take my saga books off my coffee table and put this instead. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, that's a big no for me. Yeah, that does not... That looks that by, on the verge of pathetic. That, <laughs> that does not go with the aesthetic at all. The pathetic aesthetic. You just said the word pathetic, and I realized how it kind of rhymes with aesthetic, and I loved it. I do not like that. I might have to find a different spot for you. It's, I just it's, love it so much. It's a tacky much. decoration. See, this is cute. I love this, but now it's making me want to, like... Look on Amazon if I can find like bigger ones because they just seem so small. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know you'll be honest, y'all. I don't I like the aesthetic. The halftime show. I do not watch football. We, no. we already we already are on Sunday. This this vlog spans from from Wednesday to Sunday, and this is all we got. <laughs> Also, though, I mean, really, I don't really want, I didn't watch anything of the, the Super Bowl. Again, the most important things that came out of last night for me personally was the announcement of new Beyonce music and also the, the trailer for the new Wicked movie. That's, that's about all I needed from last night. Not really 100% my thing, but I did watch the halftime show. Usher is hot, I though. Have always been an but Usher. I haven't watched really the halftime like, show. I love him so much. I literally grew up listening to his music, and my eighth grade talent show, I did a dance to one of his songs with a really good friend of mine at the time. But that <laughs> halftime show is by far the best halftime okay, show I've ever seen. My millennial dream has come true. Like, that was incredible. I felt very transported back to that era of my life. Transport me to Mars. Like the special, oh my God, the special guys. Like, Ludacris, Alicia Keys, y'all. That well, was awesome. If you haven't seen I did it, see the clips of Alicia Keys and her voice cracking. <laughs> I, did, I did see those clips. Search it on YouTube. It was beautiful. It's totally random, but Usher is actually one of the biggest celebrities that I've actually seen in person. Wow. I was actually at a baseball game. So random. Um, I was probably 14. It was a baseball game in San Francisco, and he was actually there. Wow. It was a moment. Did I go up to him? No. Did I want to? Maybe. So I am gonna end this vlog. I do hope that Damn. you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Here, here I always get my hopes up that she's like filming in advance again so we at least get some like consistent upload every other day type of schedule type of deal but she really filmed that all the way up until last night meaning i feel like it'll be a few days again before we get <laughs> before we get more amberlynn content so wow interesting what do y'all also think about the old valentine's day gift and and her having a valentine but maybe not actually dating that person but they really do like each other but maybe also they're just best friends i have a lot of questions <laughs> I'm, I'm so unclear about what her situationship is uh but i am always interested for new love and and maybe, if anything, at least we'll have a new girl move in soon. And then that way, the new girl like, can at least be off camera interacting with her, like with her voice and stuff. And maybe we'll get some some new life, some new energy into, into the channel. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. 
If you did and you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Make sure to uh, leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!